Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Do you want to experience the taste of macOS Sonoma on your Windows PC? Follow along with this complete guide to install it on PC. Let's get started. For this video, we are going to use VMware Workstation Pro version 17. We will need two files, the macOS Sonoma ISO and the unlocker for macOS. Let's download these two files from the website. Head over to this link to download the macOS ISO file or find it in the description. When you visit the website, you will see two options to download, either the ISO image or via torrent link. Next, download the zip file from the provided link. Head over to GitHub link for unlocker for point 2.7. Scroll down and download the zip file. Extract and save it in the same folder as macOS ISO. Now, let's proceed to open the unlocker folder. Inside the unlock folder, you will find another folder named Windows. Open the Windows folder and run the unlock.exe as administrator by right-clicking on it. Once the command is finished, you can close the box. That's all we need to prepare the Mac installation on Windows. Now, you can close this and let's set up VMware Workstation. Open VMware Workstation Pro and then click on Create a New Virtual Machine and select Custom. Next, choose the version you are using and click on Next. Now, select I will install the operating system later and click on Next. Here, you will see Apple macOS, so select that and from the drop-down, Choose macOS 14 and click Next. Give this virtual machine a name, like macOS 14 or anything you prefer, and save it to your desired location. Then click on Next. Now, choose the processor. I'm going to choose one processor and eight cores, but you can choose according to your processor, and then click Next. Select a minimum of 8 GB. For network connection, you can leave it as NAT, but I'm going to use bridge networking. Click Next, leave it recommended, and click Next again. Change from SATA to NVMe and click Next. Create a new virtual disk and click Next. Now, choose the disk size for this virtual machine. I'm going to choose 80 GB, but you can choose according to the space you have on your Windows PC. Make sure to select Virtual Machine as a single file, and then click Next. You can finish the process now. You can see macOS Virtual Machine settings in VMware Workstation. We're going to make some changes to the Virtual Machine settings. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Most of the settings are OK, we just need to make a couple of changes. Under Display Settings, make sure Accelerate 3D Graphics is unticked, and for Display Scaling, you can choose whichever you prefer. Now, go to CD, DVD and choose Use ISO Image File. Click on Browse to select the ISO you downloaded earlier and then click OK. Now, the virtual machine settings are complete.
We just need to make a couple of changes to the virtual machine VMX file. Right click on the virtual machine name you gave and then open the VM directory. Find the macOS 14, or whatever name you gave it, VMX file, right click and edit in Notepad. If you are running an Intel processor on your PC, you need to copy the first four lines and paste them into the .vmx file. If you are running an AMD processor, copy the following lines. In my case, it's Intel, so I'll just copy the first four lines and paste them into the VMX file. Make sure to save the file. You can close all that, and now we're almost ready to install macOS Sonoma. Click on power on this virtual machine. Wait for it to load up. Now, choose the language. Before we install macOS Sonoma, you need to click on Disk Utility from this menu. In the left panel, click on the VM Virtual Machine and NVMe Disk. Click on Erase to format the disk. Leave all the settings as they are. For format and scheme, just change the name to whatever you prefer for this disk. Then click on Erase. It will format the disk to prepare for macOS installation. Click on Done and then click on Disk Utility and quit. This will bring you back to the same menu. Click on Install macOS Sonoma and continue with the installation on the screen. Agree with the terms. Now, choose the disk and continue. You have to wait for the installation to finish. It will take some time depending on the speed of your PC. Choose the country region, set it up as you desire. I'm just skipping through most everything just to show you. Choose the user account and password and continue. If you are using a laptop, you will need to connect to your Wi-Fi. I'm using a desktop, so it's a direct connection. The setup is complete. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and sharing it.